Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Life Adventures and Keto. Today is going to be the recipe for keto reviews. Tonight I'm going to be showing you how to make seed crackers along with a ranch cheese ball. So, I'm going to start with a clean version of ranch seasonings that I picked up off of heandsheeteclean.com. I'm going to link them down below. The seed cracker recipe is an original recipe from Cat Keto off of Facebook, but I did tweak it just a little to suit my preferences more. And then the cheese ball, you're going to see that tonight. I don't, I don't know what goes into a cheese ball. It's been many moons since I've made one, but let's give it a try. We'll see if we can't make a ranch one to go well with the seed crackers. So here we go. Thank you. Okay, again, this recipe is from heandsheeteclean.com. It's two teaspoons dried parsley. Oop. Already started making a mess. Two teaspoons dried dill. No, <laughs> that's not happening. One one teaspoon garlic. One teaspoon onion powder. One half teaspoon black pepper. One half teaspoon dried chives. makes the equivalent of two store-bought packets. I don't know about that. What do you think? Break up some of those chives. It smells divine. Okay. So we'll put that aside. Okay, so the seed crackers. So it calls for half a cup of sunflower seeds. half a cup of pumpkin seeds.
the original recipe was called for two additional seed mixtures here, but I already had this in the cabinet, so I'm electing to use this Trilogy. So I'm going to use one cup of the Trilogy seeds to replace the other two seeds that were supposed to. So I cut the Trilogy seeds out of that original. I didn't realize you couldn't see the name, so there it is again. It's supposed to be in here. Give these a quick mix. Two cloves of garlic microplaned. Now I saved y'all from not having to watch me do that process. That was fun. Never done that before. So anyway, we got two cloves of garlic microplaned. And we need one cup of water. And this water will dry out once the crackers start mending together. And then set aside, you want time for the chia seeds to absorb some of that water. So in the meantime, when we we're going to put that to the side. Okay, on the cheese ball, I used half a cup of sour cream, one whole block of cream cheese, and half of the ranch dressing mix that I had prepared at the beginning of the video. Mix all of this well, and that is your cheese ball. It was not quite um, as tight as I had wanted it to. I was going to roll it in some walnuts, but that didn't happen. It's more of a soft spread. And at any rate, um, if you use the packages again, it was half of that, so one package of the ranch dip mix for this cheese ball, cheese dip. It was really good. So this is a picture of right after I had mixed it and tried to form it, and then this is after it had sat in the refrigerator all night. Okay, so I let my mixture sit for half an hour, and you can see that all the water is taken out of it. I'm gonna bake this in two halves just to make it easier. So make sure you line your pan with parchment paper. We're gonna take half of the seed mixture out. Next time, I would press this out even thinner than what I had gotten it here. It's a very pliable mixture though, very forgiving. Mm. We're gonna go with that and see what we get. <clears throat> So we're going to stick this in a 325 oven. I'm going to trim off the edges first, but I won't make you sit through that. This right here has been baked for 20 minutes. I've scored it with a knife, and I'm going to flip the pieces over. Chia seed is a great binding agent. This is a little more difficult to cut than I had given it credit for. So just sprinkling with more garlic salt and salt 
on this side and I will stick it back in the oven for another 20 minutes. I really thought these crackers held up really well. They were crunchy and thick and held up to me spreading that cheese ball mixture on the cracker itself without falling apart even though it's just seeds. I think I have some more work to do on the cheese ball itself, but I'm really excited about finding the clean recipe for the ranch seasoning mix. So all in all, I think it was great. And here's my son Sean and his review of the seed crackers and the ranch cheese ball. Okay, so now go ahead. It's actually recording this time. The chips are good. Crackers are good. The dip, I don't like the, the dip. cheese ball is not good. He doesn't like sour cream. Yeah. All right. Thanks, sir. He did take some of those crackers with him, so he really did enjoy the crackers. Keto on and keto strong, guys. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Please go by all the ladies in the collaboration down in the description box to see what their recipes are at this time. Thank you.